What's going on everyone? I hope you're doing well and welcome to this 12th edition of the Vendetta Gazette Gold Monthly. So I guess this will officially wrap up what will be volume one of the of the Gazette. Uh, I have to start out by doing a big shout out thank you. Actually it's a double thank you to everyone out there who's watched and supported the channel. I got the notification this week. We've passed 200,000 views. Actually, it's 201,000 now. And uh, I really appreciate that. Again, that's just a, a mind boggling number to me. And uh, I said it uh, I means a lot. I really appreciate the, the time and the views gone in on uh, over 11, 11 and a half thousand hours of viewing on this channel. Uh, that's just, again, that's. Very humbling, and I uh, really appreciate y'all willing to spend that much time with me down here on the bayou. And secondly, I have to say a big thank you uh, for everyone that supported the Buy Uniques Gold Pay Dirts. Uh, the last two bottles were sold, and uh, uh, like I said, I, I really thank you for that. It was actually a big help to me, and uh, I didn't get to use the money for gold like I have always done whenever I sell, sold my gold, but uh sometimes you got to do what you got to do you know so couldn't have come at a better time and i thank y'all so much those of you guys that missed it i had a few messages from you a few people uh about wait having needing to wait till the first of the month and uh so if you missed out on the buy uniques you can email me uh the addresses in all the descriptions of the videos every video and uh uh we can see what we can do for you because I, I know it was it was not at a good time of the month to put this out for a lot of people <laughs> when it's not the first of the month to get there. So at any rate, though, contact me if you want. It would would like to check out some of that that you might have missed. We'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So this month's offering is the July Patreon twenty five dollar Patreon that. Uh, you uh, you get your your thank you bag off of each uh, from whatever Patreon level that you're at. You end up getting uh, more more goodies in it. Sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's gems, sometimes it's silver uh, specimens. You never know. Sometimes it's in a bag, sometimes it's in a tube. <laughs> so thank you so much to Vendetta for all he does for us. That he also included. I think he's out of his regular stickers, so he included some of his. Fancy, another one of his fancy sparkle stickers. Very cool. One of my favorite stickers now for sure. Uh, I just love the look of that. So we will uh, get into this one right away. Let's see what we can see what we can uncover. I believe that he had said that these were uh, on, I can't remember now. It's been a while since I watched the video earlier in the month, but I think these are dry wash. This is some dry wash cons that he had done on one of his uh, outings. So, let's go ahead and focus a little better there on this. All right. Oh, I see a piece of gold. Oh, I think he said something about, seemed like he said something about chunkiness this time. And I think we might already, we might already be witnessing our, our chunkiness. Because <laughs> that looks like a, looks like a chunky little piece of gold there. I do believe it is, even without my glasses on. Eyes, yes, indeed. Check that out. Very nice looking little piece of gold there. All right. I'm not sure if there's if that's it. If there's anything else in here or not. So let's. Uh, oh, geez, hold on. <laughs> you guys may notice I don't. I sound a little off on this one. Uh, Man, I was sitting in the chair actually drawing up one of the labels, the last labels, a couple of days ago. The pup's in the chair next to me. I'm at the desk, and I lean over 
to uh, get his, actually I was scratching him and to pick up his little chewed thing off the floor to sand to him. And just that twist and bend fucked up my back. I haven't hardly been able to walk barely for two days. And I'm walking today and standing here. It's just uh, kind of miserable, <laughs> but I, I feel worse if I don't put out a video for the week because, uh, you know, I'm just used to doing it. So, yeah, when I just lifted up that, <laughs> my big jug of water here to pour, I was kind of angled. But, I mean, you've seen the kind of work that I do. I haul heavy shit. I'm up and down, crawling around. All that shit doesn't bother me. I lean over from the chair to pick something up and twist, and it, and it takes me out for fucking four days. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's been a wholly unpleasant. <laughs> I've been on the heating pad, and uh, I just I don't take I don't have medications or anything like that that I've ever taken. Before. I had the the back surgery back in '86, the lower lumpectomy, lumpectomy L4 L5. That uh, I think I mentioned it before though. I, I had a a doctor, a neurosurgeon that was a true artist, and he uh, I never had another problem with it again. Even with the uh, extreme falls and uh, brutalization <laughs> that that followed my my surgery uh, the years that later, but uh, yeah, man. Whenever I I was putting on, I was pulling on a boot one time, one of my steel toe boots sitting on the couch, and I heard I heard that internal pop when you when you hear something in your back that actually you can hear it in your head. <laughs> as something pops inside your body and uh is that an agate there hey gizmo get back get, get back come on get up from there he's digging come on get back all right i felt something throwing dirt on me I mean, that's just a cool just a cool rock but yeah i was knocked out for a week just just putting pushing my heel in because i was hunched over and not bent over all the way that half half hunch you know if you, you do sitting on the couch and man oh yeah we are it's hard to believe it's been 12 12 editions of this it's, it seems like i just i just started doing them but it's been very, some very interesting uh, material that's come through. Some beautiful gold. Some uh, very cool mineral specimens. And some awesome prizes, too, from, uh, from his uh, monthly huck <laughs> from the hucks. And uh, I guess the pay dirts and, and all that. So, yeah, that's looking good. And I see some other little, I see some other little specks in there. That's, I guess I should throw in at this point a little bit of our jet dry substitute. <laughs> Man, I noticed on that first video using the new mic, it did not. I paid like 15, but it's still, it's like a, you know, 25 or 30, whatever it was, dollar lapel mic. But the first one I had, I think I only paid $15 for, and it blocked out just about everything that was background noise, especially when I was talking. I could hear those kids screaming in the, in the next yard from the start. As I'm saying, I hope the mic is blocking this. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, Let's see about getting another mic here when I can, can do it, but uh, not. I mean, the, the and the audio, I guess it sounded okay by and large, but now it was. Uh, I would have rather had the it looks pretty much like the same one I had initially, but uh, yeah, like I said, I paid more for it, and it was not worth it. Oh, we've got some, getting down the bottom of that. We got some nice, look at that nice gold showing up in this. This is very cool. 
Looks like he's uh, really fixed this up this month on here. So we got some chunks of hematite hanging in there too. There go the kids. Yeah, I believe that is hematite. <laughs> got chunked up there a bit. I don't know if y'all saw this, but it was in the on the feed on my YouTube this week for one of the probably one of the coolest things that I have seen in a long time and is the discovery from China of the prehistoric mammal locked in about Mortal Kombat with the dinosaur. <laughs> Y'all see it? It's a it's actually the an early protoceratops or a ceratopsian it predates protoceratops by you know, probably 60 million years or more, but uh, it's the, the horned dinosaurs that went on to be Triceratops. This is the earliest sta stage of them, dating back about uh, between 150 and 160 million years ago when they were, 66 million years ago, whenever it was when they were first uh, evolving. Um, but yeah, they discovered this, the uh, uh, they, they, this, the fact that it shows that the, the dino the dino killers were also mammals, and uh, and this little guy was about the size of a badger. So it wasn't you know most of the time you think about mammals at the time of dinosaurs being little mouse size, you know, critters hiding out under the feet of dinosaurs and you know skittering around at night and trying to stay alive. And uh, this this fossil is it's actually from a Cetacosaurus, uh, which is uh. Like I said, the early or one of the earliest stages of the Ceratopsians, the horned dinosaurs, and uh, like I said, pre Protoceratops. But um, the mammal is the what is it, the Rapinomamus, Rapinomamus, something like that. Uh, like I said, it was a badger sized little critter that is uh, attacking this dinosaur that's easily three times its size. And uh, it was actually, these were, were encased in a volcanic mudslide from a, an eruption going on that caught them off guard in mid-battle. Uh, they call them a lahar whenever the, basically the volcano erupts and it, the, the ice melt, the, the, the water, uh, streams, whatever, that flows down, not the lava, but the ash and mud that it carries. And uh, that came down and apparently just caught them mid-battle. But again, when you can see the 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 uh, um, the mammal has his body entwined around the the dinosaur is biting down. Looks like he's biting into his ribs. He's got his paw in his in the mouth of the uh, Cetacosaurus and uh, the uh, just the, the the death match that they are engaged in. They're saying this is not predation because there are no bite marks or anything showing that he was you know um you know you know eating eating it after it had died that this was uh, it suggests from the fossil and the uh the, the the way the positioning of the bodies are that it was actually uh you know caught a moment in time of a, the, of a dinosaur killer <laughs> the mammal and uh just very cool to see and said this is uh this is just a an incredible fossil to have. I remember as a little kid seeing the the first eggs that were uh, found in Mongolia. Actually, it was a drawing. My mom would read me dinosaur books that were not for kids. That were mostly text when I was, you know, three years old and old, even two years old. And a lot of times you had to kind of imagine, use a child's imagination of what. And then there'd be like these, the, like the one I'm talking about now with the eggs uh, was a drawing illustration of the nest in the, you know, Mongolian desert up in China when they were still allowed back then to uh, search for dinosaurs. And just uh, that's what that's what connected me to everything scientific that I've ever been in, you know, interested in. 
and uh, whether it's you know geology or quantum physics and string theory, it's uh, it all it all started with with the dinosaurs and actually my the, the story is my aunt gave me a pack of plastic dinosaurs when I was two years old and from then on I was <laughs> dinosaur crazy. And back then in uh in, in my time as a kid they there weren't dinosaur toys like you have now. It was uh very, very limited to plastic injected, you know, uh, little figures, not the uh not the modern versions of how they would even stand or walk. And, uh, you know, plastic models when I got older that I could buy and put together and paint. But it was, yeah, dinosaurs are, and now it's gotten to the point where, you know, the, uh, that's, I learned Latin. You know, I learned that, you know, Triceratops was Latin for three-horned face. You know, dinosaur meant terrible lizard. And Tyrannosaurus Rex was tyrant lizard king. And, you know, just all the. Look at that! All the all the the, the pronunciations and the the like I said the Latin designations for them and scientific designations, but yeah, that doesn't exist anymore with kids. And half the time I hear them pronounce the guys that are doing this, or it's the bots that these these AI bots that are on these channels that you know don't pronounce it right. But so there we go. Check that out. That is definitely a chunk as. As stated in his video, that is uh, that is something very nice. So awesome, Mike! Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. And hear the kids out there going after it. We'll get out of here. There's my, there's the gang over there. It's along with all of them. There's the feral cat that's scared of everything, but she loves him. And there's milk back there hanging out. They get along fine. He he pets his nose. Hurricane gets along with him, but man, Angel just <laughs> she tears his ass up every time she gets a chance. Gizmo, what are you digging for, huh? Can we not tear up my ground? So yeah, it's funny. We go out for our walks at night, at late night especially, and those two are right there with us all the way around the house in the front. So yeah, it's it's nice to have you know everybody get along outside at least <laughs> so all right well let's uh get this snuffered up and get it in the house and we'll dry it up and weigh it and see what see what we got what that little chunk weighs because again just gorgeous and very nice a very nice con uh, uh patterns and character in that thing too all right we have our gold dried up and it is a Nice little pile of gold there with the our our chunker and then some some small pieces and some little 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 mini mini pieces and little little pickers in there. Pick that one up. So very nice. Let's just see what we uh, what we got out of that. All right, let's start by throwing a little chunk on there. Point eight seven eight eight. And there we go, point two oh three. So very actually it looked like it was gonna gonna be more than that from the the looks of that gold. Like I said, some beautiful pieces. And we're going to get a closer look at that one. It looks like it's almost folded. So I've been looking at this piece of gold. And the best way to see it is to hold it here. But it looks to me like it is folded over. Like that piece of chicken miner gold that I had. So I think we're going to see if we can f open this up and uh, and see what it comes out looking like. 
<laughs> I just like I, I said. I, ever since I saw Dave do that on the uh, Gold Bay with the, his rolled nugget, and then I had that piece from, uh, like I said, Chicken Miners that actually did. And uh, he said, I, under the camera, I just couldn't couldn't roll it around and show it that well. But it's a beautiful piece. Like I said, just the the way it looks folded over with the the layers is very cool. And we've got our other little pieces up there in the where are we? Where are they? There we go. <laughs> some some beautiful gold. There's a couple of specks of sand made it through. That tiny. So hold on, let's see what what I can do with this. I'm not sure if this knife is going to be too big to that blade is pretty fine, but it's still I might have to go get my razor knife. Well, no. Oh, look at there. It's opening it up. I don't want to break it. Or keep it out of the picture. There, it's folding open. It's butterflying out. I think we're going to leave it at that point right there. I don't want to flex it to where it breaks, but check that out. Awesome. Oh, uh, it, uh, it looks like it. Nope, nope. I thought it was. That's just how far I have it folded out. It's gold. It's supposed to be malleable, right? Where is it? Okay. Let's see if we can open it up a little bit more. Looks like there's another little fold in there. But look at that. And there's a little fold right there. On the inside. <laughs> I, I'm happy with that. That was that was pretty cool. And it made for a an awesome little piece of gold. So Mike, thank you so much. That was a very cool treat. And uh and like I said, bottle number forty two point oh will be coming your way soon, brother. <laughs> Congratulations on uh like I said, he uh he asked about that and uh, when we were in the teens. Maybe it'll come out of maybe it'll come off a of smoky bayou or something like that. But look at that. Well I'm 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 glad we went ahead and tried to do that, and it, it didn't break and uh, fall apart on us. So, awesome. And with that, we will bring our 12th edition of the Vendetta Monthly, the Vendetta Gazette Gold Monthly, whatever the fuck I call this, <laughs> to, a, to a close. And uh, here's, a, here's a, a little look at some of our Patreons over the year. And again, this was an awesome, I guess I, I have to think, I think this is my favorite for the, the last one. And that, that very cool piece looks like almost looks like a camel with his head reared back there to me, a cartoon Joe camel, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, at any rate, thank y'all so much for, Tuning in, thank you again to Mike Vendetta for providing us with this awesome stuff. And uh, he said, until the next time, this is Bayou Gold Guys saying, take care of each other and peace out, my friends. Oh, and here's a little shot of my one-month-old babies. Their eyes are open and they're wanting to climb out of that box and, and explore. So there we go. Actually had one use the litter box already. She's, she's advanced. <laughs>